Hey everyone, Lee Sell here with the Crawl Space Ace and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most commonly quest asked questions I get um, from homeowners and that is should or shouldn't I close my crawl space vents during the summertime? So I, I see all these guys talk about this online. Um, one contractor will be like, you gotta open them. The other guy will be like, you gotta close them. So I'm just, uh, I'm going to be kind of the guy in between. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm more lean. I'm, I lean more towards you got to close them, but there's a lot of stipulations that come with that as well. So, um, we're just going to kind of go over everything and, and, uh, hopefully you'll have a little better, better understanding about it. Um, so just, so think about like when they first started, um, putting foundation vents and building houses, stuff like that. Wait, years and years ago, um, houses were a lot more simple back then most of them are are just like a, a perfect rectangle rectangle um, and so when they would put these vents in you had vents on either side perfect rectangle that's fairly open so you had good airflow coming in one side good airflow coming out the other side um, and for the most part it, it worked um, but you think about a lot of these houses now I mean the the shapes and sizes are so complex and a lot of these crawl spaces are separated into sections with like full foundation walls in between and and there's just no way to get a good airflow um, with those foundation vents um, so it's it it just doesn't make sense so um, other issues with with the with the vents and how everything works is, is think about summertime when if you got your HVAC system ducked um, through the through the crawl space um, you got that the AC blowing nice and cold and you're got all those vents open and you're letting that hot humid air into your crawl space well it's hitting that hitting that duct work and uh, and and that duct work is just gonna condensate and sweat like crazy causing other moisture issues in your crawl space um, so, I mean, the most, most common places I find mold or the thickest places I find mold in crawl spaces are right around all the HVAC system. Um, just because of how much it sweats and, and, uh, and you get all that moisture right there by that, by the duct work. So, um, I mean, other issues with, with having the vents open and stuff is, is very commonly, um, either the screens break or don't have screens at all and you're letting all kinds of cats or mice or snakes anything like that can easily sneak in through those vents so um so ideally um i could see i could see why these guys are saying you gotta close them because um uh, it just makes sense you're letting all that humid air in i mean unless you live in in colorado or arizona or something like that where it's nice and dry then yeah leave your vents open all the time but but here in western kentucky i mean it's humid as heck and and uh and you're just letting all that humid air into your crawl space um but think about it as like uh even in the springtime not even summertime think about the spring how much it rains uh, especially here it rains all the time so if you have any kind of water intrusion into your crawl space and you're getting any kind of water in your crawl space and you have all your vents closed then then you have no way to let that let that air out and you're just getting that um getting that water is just is just standing in there and just uh festering in there it's just it's not good um so i mean there's there there's goods and bads with with both sides of it that's why there's such a debate whether to leave them open or close them um but ideally if you can close them you need to you need to take into account um obviously the the other factors that i talked about which is if you're getting any kind of water in there you need to have some kind of um, water mitigation system sump pump system with with drainage making sure that water is getting to the sump pump or outside drainage to keep the water from ever getting into the crawl space to begin with um, and then and then the other thing i i haven't mentioned yet is is soil gases if you're in an area that has uh, radon or I mean most everybody's got some kind of soil gas um, not everywhere has radon we don't have radon very much out here not saying we don't have radon out here it's just not very common um, 
but still i mean if you're if you're closing those vents off and you have any any kind of soil gases you don't have anywhere for it doesn't there's nowhere for that those soil gases to go except for up into the house and you're just going to breathe that in you're going to smell it and it's um i mean obviously it's not good to breathe in radon um and then the other soil gases that may not be harmful they just they don't smell very good so it's it's just it's just not good um so if you do close all your vents um for soil gas mitigation stuff a, a good vapor barrier would be good to lay down if you're not encapsulating um and then and then uh, some sort of exhaust fan, maybe in one of the vents, they make they make exhaust fans that fit perfectly in your vent to where you can try to get that crawl space in a nice negative pressure and be able to um, pull any soil gases out of that crawl space so it doesn't go up into your home. Um, so, so water water mitigation systems, soil gas issues, and then and then lastly, if if even if you I see a lot of these companies, especially the spray foam encapsulation guys who will come in and, and lay the plastic and spray the foam in there and uh, and just say, you're good. Everything's closed up. We got everything sealed up. And uh, and so you won't, they just assume you won't get any any kind of humidity in your crawl space now, which which is, is never, the, never the case. You can seal that thing up tight, but it's some way that, that, that moisture is gonna get in there. And if you don't have any, if you don't have some some sort of airflow in there, and you're getting any moisture into your crawl space, and you don't have any airflow, now you got stagnant moist air into your in your crawl space, and that's even worse. Um, I, I, you're much better off having having humid air flow in and out of your in your crawl space than you are to have just stagnant moist air in your crawl space. It's it's just a bad bad news. Um, so. Um, having some kind of dehumidifier is the best option to where it's one it's gonna it's gonna remove that moisture from your crawl space but it's also gonna add um, an airflow in your crawl space because it's pulling in that moist air in the front and pushing pushing dry uh, hot dry air out the back and, and so it's it's just not it's not as easy as saying yeah you open them or close them um, you have to take into account all all aspects of of everything or else i mean if it was as easy as saying you got to close them i mean it'd be it'd be code already they'd just say um it's i mean i know a lot of houses are already being built without any foundation vents in it right now but um that's a, a in a lot of these places that, that code's a little more lax but um you really got to take into account all the aspects soil gas water intrusion and, and airflow um, you need all you need to you need to take care of all of those if you're going to close your close your foundation vents thanks for watching guys